When all the snow starts to melt, there are concerns about flooding. Fox 13 News anchor Amy Nade takes a look at what the state and cities are doing to prevent problems and what you can do to help. It's not too early to prepare. The issue is we don't really know if it's going to flood and if so, when and where. Wade Matthews from the Utah Division of Emergency Management speaking to me Monday from the very snowy banks of Settlement Canyon. Where it snows and rains, it can flood. Here in Tooele County, and there's so much snow already starting to fill up a local reservoir. And as the snow starts to melt, they're expecting a lot more water. I mean, just look at the snow. If you've got streams or canals going past your home, make sure they're cleared of debris. State officials now holding meetings with local municipalities advising them to alert residents of the risks, develop a plan and start mitigation efforts. Clearing ditches and, and culverts and, and homeowners can assist with that. So Springville has taken a two-part approach. Asking residents to clean up the creek beds and already offering free sandbags at three different locations in Springville just in case. I'm doing this now in uh, preparation so that we're not having to do it while the floods are coming down this either down the creek or down the streets. Uh, rising up against people's properties. I mean, it's always better to uh, to hit this head on. Patrick Money from Springville City says the floods of 1983 had similar conditions, but believes a little prep can go a long way, asking homeowners to clear out gutters and storm drains. It doesn't take much for that water to get backed up, and then it can push into properties and uh, over roads and can cause significant damage. What we're anticipating is that we're going to see uh, high levels of runoff. Unified Fire preparing for what they fear may be dangerous dangerous conditions. Last three years, three to five years, we haven't experienced uh, high levels of water, right. right? With this warning around our local rivers and reservoirs. The water is cold, right? We're dealing with a lot of snow runoff. He says don't go by the water alone. Stay clear of the banks and don't go in after someone. The cold will cause confusion and hypothermia. What that, that means is when you jump into cold water, you automatically gasp for air. Often only taking in more water and going under yourself. We want people to have fun. But we want people to be mindful of the dangers associated with the quick water release um, and then the temperature of the water as well. But we'll be ready for, for the time when somebody does need our help um, in, that, in that specific instance. But all hope a little awareness and early preparation will avert any major disaster. I know it's still snowy and wintry outside, uh, but if we can prepare now, then uh, hopefully when the floods come, if they come, we'll be prepared and we will uh, be ahead of the game. Amy Nay, Fox 13 News, Utah. The Utah Division of Emergency Management recommends homeowners look into flood insurance. They have several resources available to prepare for possible flooding. Just go to beready.utah.gov.